All right, we're going to go through what we did in class. I probably made a mistake or two there. Um, showing you, once again, that drafting orthographically, uh, or what is projected out to the ends of the light box, is a great way to review your skills. So let's try to go from zero here um, and think about putting things on things like the view layer. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and just draft a line or, or a box bigger than what I want to draft. I'm going to do that by switching here to 2D drafting, realizing that if we're going to make a polyline, which is a pretty nice way to drill a bunch of things, we're going to right away after that um, explode it. So I'm going to go ahead and draft here, make a box bigger than I, what I wanted, and now we may make that pi box at 6,6. Six. Right away, take that. It was on the view layer. I'm going to take it, go ahead and hit X for explode. Then of course use a determine a, a strong baseline. I'm going to offset each of these lines by one. All right. And I can use fillet radius zero. If I don't have to put the radius in, it assumes what it was last time. And so I can fill it radius here. And if you remember that piece now, that piece was four across offset four offset 2, learn to fill it, radius 0 to clean up your pieces, and then right away you might want to go ahead and change these to the object layer. You can do it all kinds of different ways, quick properties is not a bad way to do it because they're all right there. Change that to object. Change my current layer to object by changing it here or changing in the layer. You notice here I have not carried around my toolbars on the left and the right. So I'm going to do that minus toolbar draw. It keeps that one, at least that toolbar there. Right click on any toolbar, go ahead and that's going to bring up list of toolbars. I can go over and do modify, keep modify up on the right. This keeps me about right. All right. At this point in time, it's a good idea. You might want to get rid of that box, as that box was in the, in, the, in the past used for kind of keeping track of things like how you're going to view. And you're going to see later, we're going to make different viewports. We made something that was four by two. Then we had a, something, a little notch on there, offset one. That was off to this side. Offset one. Same thing there. Realizing fillet radius zero is the best way to clean things up like that. And we had a circle. And we can go all kinds of different ways to do circles, but depending on what you want to do, you can go midpoint between the halfway between the midpoint of that line and the midpoint of that line. All kinds of different snaps to use, and then we had a radius of one on that circle. That was wrong, if you remember. So turn, learning how to turn on my dynamic when I need to, left clicking on something and making that 0.5 would be great. We offset it 0.5 here, a half there, offset it 2 to get the center. I'm sorry, offset it 1 to get the center, and then offset it 0.25. And again, we don't need that middle line that was a reference line. Fill it radius zero. There would be different ways to do that. One could establish where that is. And we have the basic front view of that piece. Now, remembering that the fold line doesn't have to be consistently a certain distance on both sides of it, but very often, what you're going to remind remembering if you're doing this, not uh, so you're going to use dimensions. You want to keep some extra space a lot of times on these different views. These this is, these are called multi-view drawings. So I'm going to offset here one, if you would, and I'll offset one there. Fill it radius zero. Once again, learn to grab a couple of things. I need to go ahead and change their object this time. I put it on the fold lines layer. In all reality, this next offset does not have to be the same distance 
from the fold line as it was here and you'll see as we fold or unfold that box but it's not a bad idea to keep these things consistent and we I, I believe we made this box offset three feet or three units back now at this point in time we introduced you to the concept of a projection line and the fact that you used that most important command which was draw order and the X line which is an infinite X line which is an infinite and you can make it vertical and it's an infinite line you're going to go through a point where you want to put it through the point the end point get used to using snaps end of that take it again offset through you can either make another one or just offset through the end point offset through the quadrant offset through the quadrant offset through the end point and if you remember now I'm still forgetting what I did in class fill it radius 0.5 on that little piece there and you'll see that there are there's some discussion about what happens with this little line there offset through the end point of the fillet there which also happens to be that little box inside there and offset through the end point there once again the command right click notice I've got the quick properties on you got to learn to turn those off so they don't get in the way right click and somehow it's called draw order send to back it's so you can see it now this here I folded it back one but we talked about this little notch here being 0.25 so I'm going to offset back 0.25 offset 0.25 and then you can start using these lines for trim lines when you need to and very often you can use them as well for other things as well so I'm going to go here line for instance I can trim this out if I don't want to necessarily worry about keeping it around from there and there trim it on both sides and grab those two so I can take that and change it to an object. So I've kind of established that object line. Later on, you'll see that this little line inside of here is going to be a dashed line. But there is no line going across here. So we could do this. Fill it, fill it radius 0. Fill it radius 0. Or if you hold the shift it will draw a zero radius fillet. And once again, this one, learn to change it any kind of different way so it's on the right layer. Starting to go through your drawing here. Fillet, holding the shift. Fillet, holding the shift. And then learning to put these things on the correct layers. These lines here are all dashed, dashed, and so you can trim. You can select all and then you can learn one of your options for trim is F for fence. In other words, you're going to draw a fence across a list of things that's going to trim them all. F across the fence of things, trim them all. You then have essentially things here that all go to the hidden layer. And you'll know later, you can figure this out as we go to it, but that actually, because of that notch, there's actually, remember break, you can say F for first point, shift right click, intersection, and for second point you just say add again. There is a command to do that, but it's you can learn to kind of learn one command and work it as well as you can. And take this and change it to the hidden layer. And we essentially have, we've lost all of our projection lines per se. And we are going to be a little bit undetermined about what happens with this line right there. Is that in fact an object line because of this little point here? Or is it a hidden line because of the one behind it? But you have what essentially then is the top view. And finally, remembering you can go here, left click, spacebar, 
space bar C for copy and go 135 and you've got the reverse pool shot line. We'll do it and finish it up in the next video. Thanks for listening.